so we're back in the car on our way to the dentist follow-up appointment i don't know how it's gonna go because he needs to open his mouth for her to look in there we need to make sure there's no infection it's healing right and that is hard to do so fingers crossed we can figure it out he could she could look in there at least a little bit he doesn't seem to be in pain hasn't cried out since like that first day um has been able to eat properly and all that good stuff so i'm not too worried but yeah we're on our way over there we are here but we are nervous. We remember what happened, so I've been getting pinched. It's okay, we're just gonna open our mouth. They're gonna check in there and then we're done. Everything that needed to happen already happened, okay? We're good, we're good. I really hope we can get a look in there because that's the whole point, Papa. We gotta open. I'm trying to tell them, open your mouth, ah. So mad. It's all right, we're gonna be in and out, okay? In and out. We're gonna get a toy in here. Let's get one of these. Aquí mira. Look, put it in right there. Look right here. Yeah, keep going. Uh oh, I hope you will twist it. Ready? Is it? Twist, 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 twist. One more, one more. Any help? Oh, it came back empty. Mm -hmm. And everything looks perfect. Tooth looks good, it's healing properly. We're all set for six months. Go, Christian. Good morning, guys. I am rushing per usual. I have a very important doctor appointment today for Christian. And I thought I had all the time in the world, and of course I don't, so now we're rushing, but we'll be there on time. It's a very important appointment, and I need to talk to you guys about Christian's medical stuff because it's it's a hot mess. It is nobody's fault but my own that I'm here with Christian and Sebi rushing because my sister, the angel that she is, was going to watch Sebs while I was in this appointment. But of course, time ran out on me. It's all my fault. So now I'm gonna hopefully have him sit in the stroller and give him my phone to watch the videos for a little bit because I really need to focus. And hopefully Christian's in a good mood. Christian! He didn't have therapy this morning because it's an early appointment. Fingers crossed we get a good doctor. We made it to the room, right Christian? So now we're just waiting and even got the blood work done. Really good. We got done with his uh, first appointment an hour and a half ago. We are now at his next appointment, which is physical therapy. So Christian will be starting physical therapy up again. Um, this is his first like assessment. He got referred by his podiatrist. So the shoes are helping. Now we need to work on his balance, his like strength on like walking. He's walking like this still. We gotta focus on him walking right. So I am hoping that this is a good fit. I don't know for how long we'll do it, but I really need I really need his walking to become better because it it all it all connects back together and everything needs to be good for him to be thriving. So we are in a good mood today. Let's keep it going. I'm sure you guys know it's been many days since I first recorded the first part of this video. I need to sit down and talk to you guys about the medical updates because there's quite a few I feel like or at least there's a big one. In the last weekend of 2023, we went to get blood work for Christian because for the last couple months, I've been feeling like he's just been more bloated. He had been, you know, um, having some dark spots, uh, just, you know, moody and crying and things like that. Whenever that happens, I know that a behavior means something. I just like to double check. I called the doctor and I asked her when was the last time we got his his you know hormones checked when was the last time we got his um insulin and glucose checked she said it had been since 2021 so we went and got the blood work and it did come back that he was pre-diabetic so that was one of our biggest fears for him you know with his um hyperfixation on food to become diabetic he is in like the 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 cusp of it so we definitely freaked out of course also, um, there was signs of fatty liver. So there, it, all of that has to do with how much he eats and his weight. And the main thing for us is his health. Immediately when we got those results, we changed his um, eating habits. And that was hard. Um, there was a lot of behaviors because there was a lot of changes. So we had um, no sugar. And if there was some sugar, it was sugar-free options. Um, we went from eating pastas and rice, his favorite, um, to no pasta, no rice. 
Uh, he continued to eat, you know, like the, the meats that he liked. We, we made sure he still had like potatoes. He at least has a variety of foods that we can offer him. So he's not like stuck on just one food, but he is stuck on no vegetables, you know? So we we're doing our best. We took out breads, um, we took out mm -hmm. sweets, all of that good stuff and definitely was a hard time. He was having, you know, a lot of behaviors. We are writing those behaviors out. Um, it's gotten better. I do notice on random days, like birthdays and things like that, where he does have a little bit of sugar, his behaviors increase and he acts really, really like obsessed with the sweets. Like he's like lunging, trying to grab them. So they do say, say that there is, you know, like, behaviors and stuff when you give sugar and red dye 40 and all that and i do believe some of that um because whenever he's had not had it for like a week and then he has a little bit i could see behaviors like really really fast um so our goal is not necessarily to lose weight our goal is to have a healthy lifestyle thankfully i already had started like a whole 30 journey which if you guys know what that is it's like eating no sugars no processed foods um just eating whole foods um i had started that in november and i continue to eat like that and i'll have like moments like once a week where i will eat you know like uh, a meal or snacks um call them my like cheat meals but we're trying we were trying that kind of lifestyle and then we got this you know information and we pretty much put him on that kind of life lifestyle so like no processed foods like processed breads processed pasta um no sweets um just like natural sweets like like we sweetened his oatmeal with dates and things like that it's not perfect but it's definitely a lot better i do notice that he's already losing a few pounds um and it's just been about a month so i feel like it's a good way a good start to this so we started this whole thing with just writing down everything he's eating and tracking at what time he eats we've noticed that he's a big snacker uh, but i wanted to keep you guys in the loop because we are seeing a bunch of doctors we're seeing the gi doctor we're seeing the endocrinologist he just had his teeth ex his tooth extracted so it's a lot going on and we saw a spike in behaviors um his behaviors changed from not being super aggressive to others to like really being aggressive in the sense of just like pinching or trying to scratch when you try to get him to do something or when you tell him no to like food he'll start trying to like get like like little baby pinches like he's like doing this which is not okay so we're working on that too but with time it's been about a month since and with time we're seeing just less of it so it's getting easier but definitely needed to update you guys on that it's part of the clips that you guys saw um part of his whole healthy lifestyle in 2024 is making sure that everything's good his teeth his gut health his lifestyle like a healthy eating lifestyle fitness everything we're trying to do like a whole revamp and like just do better you know we all have to do better so that's where we're at right now and it's sometimes it just feels like it's a lot mentally for me i'm just like lord when will we catch a break but we have to put in the work right before we can just like have everything smooth sailing so fingers crossed everything keeps going good i feel like we're on a good slope up so hopefully i'm not drinking jinxing myself but yeah thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video bye